Central Trio at Ang Mokyo is one of the most anticipated projects in this launch. Many people, including myself, already suspected that this project will be a plus project because it is located in a mature area and within walking distance to the MRT station. As it is classified as a plus BTO, the project is subjected to a 10-year MOP, cannot rent out the whole unit even after MOP, income ceiling for future buyers, cannot sell to PR couples, etc. The subsidy recovery rate is 6%, which is slightly lower among the other plus and prime projects. Now, let's talk about pricing. You can see the price range here excludes grant, and I have also added the price after the grant. To help you assess whether these BTO prices are reasonable or not, I have also added the transacted price of nearby resale flats of similar types. Feel free to pause the video if you want to see the numbers in detail. There's no comparable resale flat nearby for the two-room flexi, but for the four room flat, the price gap between the highest BTO price versus the highest resale flat in the same area is quite decent, which is around $300,000 or about 52% if you count it as a percentage. This is still a very good margin despite of the 6% subsidy recovery. It is not exactly estimated gross profit because this is the price of today's resale flat and not the future price after MOP, but assuming the housing price in Singapore will continue to increase, this will give you a rough idea of the potential profitability of this project. It's not a surprise that the flat prices at the Central Trio are quite high, primarily because of its mature location. Compared to other projects in this batch, you can see that in theory, Central Trio has a very promising profit potential. However, what annoys me the most is that the waiting time for this project is 15 months, which is the longest in this batch. Now, let's talk about the location. The Ang Mo Kyo BTO will basically be located in this empty plot next to Ang Mo Kyo uh, Public Library. And next to it, we can see there's a Grandeur 8 condo and opposite the block. As you can see, we have the Ang Mo Kyo Garden West Park here. And also we have the Mayflower Primary School here. A couple of blocks away, you can find the campus for SIT as well as Nanyang Poly. Anderson Junior College is also right over here, just around the corner. As you can see, the surrounding area of this plot is pretty much done up, so you don't have to worry so much about heavy construction noises. This is different versus if you buy the Bayshore BTO, for example. For amenities, actually, there are some shops if you walk to the south, which is this part. As you can see, there's courts here, and then the uh, Chitsun Mall is also here. Basically, there are quite a lot of neighborhood shops around this area. If you keep walking, you will arrive at Ang Mo Kyo Hub Mall, which have more offering. So this one is the Ang Mo Kyo Hub. If you are wondering where is the MRT station, well, Ang Mo Kyo MRT station is around 15 minutes walk, so it's, it's right here. But alternatively, of course, you can always take a bus if you don't feel like walking. Usually, I'm not a big fan of BTO, which is located far away from the MRT station, but this one is an exception because the area is already mature with amenities and it's not super far from the MRT station, just a slightly longer walk. If you are working in the CBD area, you can simply take the north-south MRT line to commute to Raffles Place or City Hall MRT station, depending on where you are working. In terms of school options, there are quite a lot of school choices for different levels around the vicinity, making it ideal for long-term stay. Now let's look at the site plan. When we are talking about the best stack for the four-room flat, try to aim for stack 101 or 103 at block 733A because you can overlook the library and the Ang Mo Kyo Central if you get a high enough floor. For two-room flexi, the best stack would be 117 or 119 at block 733B as it will overlook the roof garden above the car park towards Ang Mo Kyo central direction. All the units have an almost direct north-south orientation and most inward-facing stacks are a good distance from one another with the facility separating them. Watch out that some blocks only have 3 lifts to be shared among 12 units so do expect some waiting time. Sheltered walkways are available to connect all the blocks and car park and there will also be a preschool in the cluster so that's convenient for parents. Okay, now let's do a quick recap. What I like about this project is definitely the location. It is a quick commute to the CBD area if you are working there and quite central to go to other parts of Singapore. As the area is pretty much developed, there are also a lot of amenities nearby and I also don't have to worry about massive construction noises in the near future. In terms of potential profit, it's not the highest in the bunch but still very promising. Amokyo area is usually also very high in demand so you shouldn't have difficulty finding buyers or room 
second and third. There are also plenty of school options at different levels, so you and your family can stay here for long term. I also like that there's a park nearby, and if you are lucky, you might be able to get a flat facing the greenery. Now, let's talk about what I don't like about this project. What puzzled me the most about this project is the estimated waiting time. 59 months later, that's almost 5 years. It's the longest in the bunch. Considering it only has over 400 units, that is a very very long time to build. If you are still renting or have urgent need to move, you should consider this waiting time carefully. The second thing I don't like is obviously the plus restrictions, but that is already expected. As usual, that would mean that you will be facing a 10-year MOP, cannot rent out the whole unit even after MOP, income ceiling for future buyers, etc. Another thing that I don't enjoy is that the 15 minutes walk to MRT station is a little bit far, but it's not unbearable. Watch out that some blocks must share 3 lifts between 12 units which is not ideal proportion as you can end up waiting longer for lifts during rush hours. The flat type offered in this project is also limited because it only has 2 room flexi and 4 room flats but there's no 3 room or 5 room flat here. If you want to know more about other projects, check out my other videos in this channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!